Welcome back to your home for electrical industry news, trends, information, and entertainment, electrictv.net. I'm your host, Dominic Geritano. The Great Smoky Mountains of Tennessee are one, if not the most, picturesque places in these United States. The Smokies are home to all kinds of plants and animals too, including one of the largest populations of black bears. In fact, that's what the Smokies are known for. But with the millions of visitors the park sees every year, the Smokies' signature tenant, the black bear, faces new dangers of today's modern age. This story is how Nika and the IBEW are helping to make them a little safer through their actions and their expertise. The Great Smoky Mountain National Park along the Tennessee-North Carolina border is the most visited in the U.S., between 8 to 10 million visitors each year. The name derives from the natural fog that often hangs over the mountain range. But you can make the argument these days that it's pollution, not fog, which gives it its unmistakable haze. In 2004, the National Parks Conservation Association reported that this park was the most polluted of all the national parks. So polluted, in fact, that in 2003, the park recorded approximately 150 unhealthy air days. This wasn't good news for park visitors or its wildlife like the black bear. But rather than going from bad to worse, it's gone from bad to better, thanks in part to a local nonprofit organization, the Black Bear Solar Institute and the NECA IBEW team. We are actually a 501c3 nonprofit, and our mission is to promote solar energy, renewable energy, energy conservation, electric vehicle infrastructure, and use of electric vehicles. And also on the side, we work with uh, wildlife rehabilitation, which is where the Black Bear of Black Bear Solar Institute comes from. The Black Bears of the Smokies are the icons of this area, so everyone visiting the Great Smoky Mountain National Park wants to come to see black bears. We are about a mile and a half outside the entrance to the Great Smoky Mountains National Park, and so the air quality in the park is a very big concern for both the human and the wild residents of the area. As a business, we've always tried to look for what's the, the next next big thing coming down the pike, what's the niche markets we can focus on. Well the charging stations are growing everywhere now and, uh, and uh, you know Broadway Electric and our contractors are right at the front in this area with the installations and service of them. Smoky Mountains to, to us being in our backyard is very important and, and we do want to preserve it. It's, it's a you know it's a beautiful park that we enjoy to be in and to say that we have a part in you know preserving or keeping the pollution down in those areas you know gives us some pride and, and our guys as well. When this story was produced, there were 24 EV charging stations installed by the NECA IBEW team in and around the entrances and exits of the park, giving motorists ample opportunities to charge and recharge. People that are using electric vehicles, we really look at them as sort of being the 21st century pioneers of transportation. You know, this area is very rich in 19th century history in the, in the settlement of the mountains and the, and the valleys around here. And we see the electric vehicle operators that are kind of pushing the frontier a little bit in transportation and we want them to have that comfort factor of being able to see and, and use these public stations as they need them. What now is a smaller two-story office with a downstairs welcome area has plans to be the most sustainable wildlife rehab facility ever built. The permanent home for the Black Bear Solar Institute. Included in the plans is a multi-enclosure rehabilitation complex for endangered, most oftentimes orphaned, black bear cubs like these, but also other native Smoky Mountain wildlife. There's also room for a larger educational center for park visitors to learn about the cubs, other animals, and the environment, powered in part by solar panels to be installed by the NECA IBEW team. When you're afraid of something, you don't want to step out of the box and see something new and try to learn about that. But we make that easy for them and tying that into something that people love and know are the animals. And so when you grasp them and get them interested in what they can do to help the environment and the, the wildlife habitat for the animals, then you can take them a step farther and see that latching on to EV and PV and these types of things and the renewable energy, we can make that easy for them. The skills necessary to adapt to our changing world are sometimes hard to learn, but the IBEW and NECA have been ahead of the curve for years. A good reason why, they're an integral part of making the Smoky safer for the animals which call it home and for humans who visit. That's been our focus all along is to give people uh, a reason and an 
enable them to be able to use these electric vehicles to do something that's fun, that they enjoy doing. They come out to this area, to the National Park on the weekends. If they see a charging station, it plants that seed. Mm -hmm. I could be driving an electric vehicle here. It's a normal thing, and, and we're trying to reach the next generation as well. Being able to work with someone like Besco, who is very experienced, who has uh, performed several of the uh, EV charging installations before we became involved with them, was just absolutely critical to the success of this because otherwise you're, you're coming in, you're causing problems, you're, you're being in the way of things. We've just gotten nothing but highest praise from every location that we've used about the professionalism, the, the completeness of the work, what a neat job, the, the way they just left the, the facility back in perfect condition when they left. Craftsmen are very good and, and take a lot of pride in you know their work that they do and you know it's uh, the training shows the, the craftsmen, the, the pride in, you know, just being an IBEW electrician means a lot, both to, you know, to the guys, to us, and to the customers. IBEW had brought in some upgrades on our new charging stations that we had put in our parking um, lot, and I spoke with Mark, and he was working very diligently that day and said, you know, I have to travel all around. This is just one of my stops to bring in the updates that are necessary, and those are things we don't even have to worry about. With more than 1,000 charging station installations to their credit, the NECA IBEW team in this area has reputation for customer satisfaction that expands beyond the Smoky Mountains National Park. The beautiful thing about what we do is that we make it very clear uh, to our friends and neighbors and the public that uh, we're the guys that make the electricity. We're the guys that distribute the electricity. Wouldn't it make sense that we be the ones that install and service the electricity? It was important when you have a project like this that you get the job done well. Vesco has done a thousand of these, is my understanding, and so we, we are happy to partner with somebody who knows what they're doing. So, in a way, you could say that the NECA IBEW team is making the environment a little safer in the Smokies for its 8 to 10 million tourists to visit each year, and the black bears call this beautiful park home. Are you a subscriber? If not, it's easy to be sent alerts from us when we have new content for you to watch. Just click subscribe on the top right corner of the homepage and enter your information. Don't be afraid, we will never share your information with anyone else. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time here on ETV.